Most frequently, when DNA is going to be damaged, it is through chemicals or radiation. So when we talk about mutagens, they are just natural or artificial agents that will induce mutations. Some of these are going to be naturally found in our environment. Things like fungal toxins or cosmic rays or UV light can all be just found naturally in our environment. Things like industrial pollutants or medical x-rays or chemicals in tobacco smoke. These can be things that an individual might exp be exposed to through um, uh, various means. So one of the things that can happen <clears throat> is that base analogs or these mutagenic chemicals can literally substitute for the purines or pyrimidines doing this nucleic acid replication. Again, can increase these shifts, these tautomeric shifts. It also can increase sensitivity to UV light, which itself is also mutagenic. Alkylating agents are going to donate an alkyl group, which is CH3 or CH3CH3, to these amino or keto groups and nucleotides. And what they will do is also alter that base pairing affinity. And so again, we're going to get these transi transition mutations or these point mutations. So in this case, you have a guanine and into this oxygen, you're now going to add um, this alkyl group. What this will cause is a differential binding to this thymine, so that when this is uh, being replicated, now we're going to have an insertion of a thymine and where we would normally find a cytosine. Intercalating agents are chemicals that have dimensions and shapes, and they allow them to wedge between these DNA base pairs. And so what happens is it causes uh, base pair distortions, DNA unwinding. One that is very commonly used in the lab is called ethidium bromide. And this allows DNA to glow when you put it under a UV light because it changes that structure of DNA. Other chemotherapeutic agents act in a very similar manner. Addict forming agents uh, are mutation causing chemicals, bind to DNA and alter its conformation, and they interfere with replication and repair. So acetaldehyde is a component of cigarette smoke. Heterocyclic amines, or HCAs, are cancer-causing chemicals created uh, during cooking of meats. So things like beef, chicken, fish, when they're cooked at very high temperatures, particularly when they're grilled, it can lead to the formation of some of these different products. Also, frying of foods can cause a lot of the products like this to form as well. So things like uh, french fries, any carbohydrates that might be fried at very high temperatures, things like french fries, uh, fried dough, things like that. And there are 17 different HCAs that are linked to cancers of the stomach, colon, and breast. So the stomach and colon make a lot of sense because these foods are directly being in contact with these regions. Breast, um, it definitely gets into the bloodstream and it can circulate within other tissues as well. UV radiation itself also can cause mutations to happen. It causes pyrimidine dimers. And what happens is um, nearby thymines will bind each other instead of binding their uh, A's across from their adenines across from one another. And so usually, again, these types of mistakes are re removed by these DNA repair enzymes. However, if you are deficient in these DNA repair enzymes, and a number of reasons, and we'll talk more in a minute, it can leave your cells vulnerable to uh, different mutagenic effects. Ionizing radiation. You can find in the form of x-rays, gamma rays, cosmic rays, also going to be very mutagenic. And what you can see is it's pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio. The more of a dose, uh, particularly x-ray dose that you get, the more x-linked recessive alleles that you'll see, and it's pretty much a linear effect. What happens in these is stable molecules and atoms are transformed into free radicals. And again, a chemical, uh, free radical is a chemical species that has one or more unpaired electrons. And so they can literally directly attack the DNA. They can also indirectly affect DNA. What they'll do is they'll do things like alter these purines, alter the pyrimidines, break some different types of bonds, and they can lead to major problems such as deletions, translocations, fragmentation of the, of the DNA.